The city of New Orleans is fast becoming a global hotspot for the virus. Its roughly 1,200 cases are rapidly growing, and the latest figures show 57 people have died in surrounding Orleans Parish, giving it the highest death rate in the nation, almost four times that of New York. On Friday, Governor John Bell Edwards said the city's convention center is being converted into a potential field hospital, with 240 beds being set up this weekend. The last time it served that function was following Hurricane Katrina. As in other places, New Orleans' famous restaurants are closed to diners and are now serving takeout only. That means there are far less, there's far less food waste in the alleyways for the local rodent population to feed on. And that has driven them out into the streets. Omar Villafranca reports. The party has paused on Bourbon Street. To cut down on crowds and flatten the curve, bars and shops are closed in New Orleans' famed French Quarter. Now, the only late night revelers are rodents looking for food. This video shows rats in the middle of the street, focused more on survival viable than social distancing. The French Quarter is known for its food, its cuisine, so it's a place where if you're rat it, it's, it's heaven. You know. Charles Marsala shot the video of the vermin. The local businessman says rats have been running around the quarter for centuries, but he's never seen them scurrying around so boldly. I turned the corner and there's about 30 rats at the corner feasting on something in the middle of the street. Had you ever seen anything like that out? No, never. You know, you know, you see this gap here? Look, there's one right there. Wow. Mayor LaToya Cantrell says with many restaurants closed in the quarter, the rats are looking anywhere for a meal. It's driving our rodents crazy. To control the population, city crews have started putting bait in the gutters and placing rat traps all over the French Quarter. Claudia Regal heads up the pest control board. She's worried about the infestation and possible infections rats can spread to the city's homeless population. That there are pathogens in these rodents. Fortunately, we don't see many of the health outcomes, right? We don't have very many disease cases that are actually related to rodents, but the potential is there. The new reality of empty streets and staying at home is not only hard for some people, it's hard for rodents. It's a difficult time to be a rat, really, at this time as well, because the food is limited, they're going to start fighting with each other. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Omar Villafranca, New Orleans. I don't know. Uh, yeah, no, and you worry about other diseases. Right. Yeah. Thanks. yeah.